The comet is said by NASA to come from some source 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago it's been traveling. So they'll probably change that information now that I've poked that full of holes because they have no way of knowing. This is called a parabolic or hyperbolic comet, which means it's not cyclic. It's not on an elliptical orbit where you can measure it like uh, Halley's Comet, say, which is, I, I think Halley's Comet's every 90 or so years. And there's many other comets <coughs> that we know of because historically you see it once and then in modern times you see it again. Sometimes three times, sometimes four times it's been observed. So these are uh, obviously predictable, okay? They're, they are on elliptical orbits which <coughs> go around the sun and they're smaller orbits. Now with this one being hyperbolic or parabolic, which is that could be a misnomer because a real parabola doesn't circle back. It just goes, it's on an exponential formula. Okay, if you know anything about math, geometry, trigonometry, all that stuff. So <coughs> they're just saying that they don't know to call it parabolic or hyperbolic because it's never been observed before or they don't connect it with anything that's been observed. And this is where some of the conspiracies come from because they think that it's in the ancient texts. It's in stone tablets. They think that it's connected with something that's being depicted in these ancient sciences from ancient civilization. So that's a stretch because <coughs> it would take a lot of research. I mean, if someone is using past life information and their intuition, then that's a different story. But these people usually don't know anything about that. So how they come up with it, it's like radical scientific or quasi-scientific theory. And it could be pseudoscience. And there's a lot of it. As I pointed out, I don't support establishment science either because it's full of pseudoscience. So I'm always attacking things on the inside and the outside. Same thing I do with religion, Christians, and atheists. Same thing I do with everything because that's the only way to get the truth. Now, as I said, I was just going to go over the general gist of this and I'll leave you with the important details is that this thing is <coughs> has been spotted when it was about I think 200 million miles away or no wait the, okay the, there's a limit called the frost line in the solar system and when the comet crosses that it starts to absorb enough solar radiation and, and energy that its uh, frost water content will start to vaporize and then it will start to have the characteristic comet tail that's bright, you know, light reflective so you can see it from the Earth. Right now Comet Ison doesn't have a detectable visible tail. So they're thinking that pretty soon by the end of this month or early August it may start to develop the tail because it will be within that frost line. <coughs> now I believe that the frost line is variable based on the intensity of the sun. So they have a whole other can of worms to go over because they say that the sun is kind of fizzling out and that we may enter another glacial period of the ice age. So it's going to be colder on the planet Earth. That would also mean that the frost line is much closer in the, in the solar system. It doesn't like flare out as much. So I'm not going to bet that we can see a comet tail even in early August. Now, <coughs> the schedule of this, if it doesn't break up on the way into the more inner part of the solar system, is it will be uh, visible to the naked eye. <coughs> I was going to say it would be naked to the visible eye, but that's confusing. Um, around November. And <coughs> the closest pass to the sun will be around Thanksgiving, uh, the U.S. holiday. 
and then it will be closer and closer to the Earth um, through December because of the way the the trajectory is, and it's a wait and see kind of thing um, for everybody, even the experts with all their expensive technology and their expensive machines and telescopes and computers to process the data nobody really knows um, somebody that's just you know very keen and perceptive and amateur could actually have just as good of a guess as to what's going to happen also um, they're not telling us um, how many particles are involved with this okay so it may not just be one solid body that's that's the other thing to consider and again once it comes into the forces of the solar system it could bust apart and then the trajectory will change it could change course especially if it splits almost in half which it's not likely but it's something that's possible so we're not out of danger if it breaks up, particles, large particles, could come towards the Earth. And plus it's going to disturb other material that's in there. Now, as a general rule, I don't believe that the universe typically has particles colliding with each other. I, I just don't think it's that common. I think that's the human mentality right now is to think of collisions and exploding and bombs because humanity is very immature. We're not an advanced civilization by any stretch of the imagination. <coughs> but what I do think is that comets uh, or other bodies in the universe do have intelligent design to them. That what happens has something to do with striking a balance of all things, even life life is also energy. So I think that if something does happen, like when you see a crater as evidence of, of collision at some point, like millions of years ago or billions of years ago, this means that life for some fateful reason had to change. Now, I think we're in the end times. And it's not just to do with prophecy because it's been little endings all through history but I think we're coming to a really big one because not only we look like we're about to destroy our own selves there's going to be repercussions of this in the universe so it could translate as a comet hit it could this is all spiritual philosophy nothing is sure but one thing that is sure is that comet is coming towards the earth and towards the sun and we're just going to have to see what happens in the next few months like I said by November could be the comet of the century or it could fizzle out more details are in the attached video after 4.30